And this is my February beauty haul. Hello dears, welcome to Beauty for Heart. I'm Diling, as soon as Lily. I know this is a bit late to share with you dears my February beauty haul, but because I've received some of the products just last week, which took a very long time to arrive in Singapore. That's why I've been delaying this video. And I know there's my eyeshadow palettes over here was already shared with you in my previous videos, the eyeshadow collections. And now I'm just going to briefly touch upon it and those that have played with it more, then I can share with you a deeper experience. So let's get started. Let me just share where I bought the products from place by place. First, from Beautylish, I bought these two items. This is not exactly a makeup product, this is a skincare. So this is Becca Highlighter, which is their limited edition. Can you dear see the pink and bronze prints on it? And guess what? I bought this specially for the Chinese New Year. <laughs> Just because of the pink. Because it's the year of the pink. So as you dears who has owned Becca highlighter already know their texture is very very soft and I was so excited when I received this because in the photo the colors really look very gorgeous it's the peachy gold and when I swatch on the hand I really love the colors okay let me swatch one more layer so that you dears can see see this is so pretty isn't it it's like very pearly very glowy I like the hand swatch and also I like to apply it in the inner corners and also on the eyebrow bone. The thing is, when I apply on my cheeks, I realize nothing much is shown. Aww. I'm applying it right now and dears, can you see anything? I seriously can't, you know. I think the color is too natural on me. That's why I couldn't see much glows on the skin so i wouldn't recommend this highlighter to those who has similar skin tone with me and i will write my foundation number my foundation code in the description box so that you this can also refer to it and has a better reference so i will recommend this highlighter for fairer skin tone and next is this this is the sunday riley good jeans all in one lactic acid treatment I actually know this from one of my favorite beauty YouTuber from Taiwan. Her channel name is Hello Kitty, and she is recommended this. And according to her, this removed her media seeds, and that struck me immediately because I have media seeds all over, especially on my dry zone, and also the neck. The camera can't pick up because it's too small. But yes, my claws are either very open or very clogged. So when she said this will help to remove the media seed immediately, I got interested and I got this. She was mentioning this is very smelly, but when I got it, I actually smell a very strong scent of lemongrass. And lemongrass is one of their main ingredients over here. I'm not so sure, but to me, lemongrass reminds me of tom yum soup. I'm not so sure, is it also because... I can find lemongrass in the Southeast Asia, that's why I'm more familiar with the smell and I don't find it smelly. And lemongrass can help so get rid of some insects. Use this on the 8th of February, which is about a month plus, coming to two months. For the first two weeks, I am observing it does help to reduce and my skin getting clear. But for the past two weeks, I don't really see that it strings anymore. So I guess it does work, but I need more time. Weather is very hot, so I burn up my hair. Alright, next from lazy.com, L-A-Y-C-Y is a Singapore website. I bought this Australis Face Spray and also their Australis Metallic Eyeshadow. It's not new to me, this is a repurchase and these are two new editions colors. Okay, let me go with the spray first. It is the dewy spray and it gives a very dewy look of course and it makes the makeup last longer and it has a very nice rose smell. But yes, if you are not into rose smell then you can skip this away. And this is my second bottle already. 
And these two I've shared with you in my single eyeshadow collection. I like this texture because it's very creamy and it's very long lasting. So let me just do a swatch. This is the white. And this is the purple. This one, this the color name is salt and purple. It is the creamy type, so usually I will just use my finger to blend, and it is very good. Sorry, and they are a very good eyeshadow base. Let me show you. I just randomly pick one of the eyeshadow palettes, probably this, maybe this orange. First, let me apply over here on the bare skin. This is the orange alone. And let me also apply over at the white over at this color can you see this is pigmented enough but when it goes over the white base the color is more intense and of course, if you like glitter, it actually gives you a more glittery finish. The color is bolder, more intense. And that's why I bought more of them. I have did a swatch and review before. So now these are the two new colors and there are more new colors now. So I was thinking whether should I do an updated swatch and review, especially since that the video, the previous videos is quite blur. And I've mentioned before, Australia is quite a good brand and I quite like them. It has been quite quiet in YouTube. So that's why I like to give them a shout out as much as possible. And next, these are the Essence Finalicious Lip Paint. I got this from Guardian Pharmacy. In January, I bought two colors and I like the quality and so I bought the other three to complete the collection. So this is in the color number two, Nude is the new Cute. It's on discount, that's why I bought more. And I bought a few more for you dears also. So I always like this kind of color. It's great for daily use. And this is a berry color which is number eight. I'll make you blush. Surprisingly, on my lips, it does look quite natural. Not so dark as on the hand. And this red is number 5, Lollipop. I haven't used this color yet. I just opened it. Okay, it's actually not very red red. It's more to the coral red color as you can see is very intense and is actually long lasting given that this is a glossy formula so if you just have this in your pharmacies you might want to get it next is actually not a beauty product neither is it a makeup product is the face this is the Himalaya Herbal Toothpaste. This is the sparkling white for the whitening and this is the complete care for sensitive gum. Last year, I had a mukbang with Lisa Zapata at Lucky Plaza having Filipino food. We went to Far East Plaza in the orchard and there is a big Himalaya shop. So I got their toothpaste and I was using both sparkling white and also the complete care. And I was so surprised. I've completed this sparkling white toothpaste and my teeth actually doesn't feel any sensitivity because my teeth is naturally very thin. So after a while when I use those whitening toothpaste, my, my teeth will actually get very sensitive. 
but not for this. I've already completed one tube. So now going to finish another tube. I bought three of sparkling white because there's a promotion and another three for complete care. And last year when I used the complete care, I realized my gum has stopped bleeding because I always have the problem of bleeding gums. But I actually didn't realize when exactly did I stop bleeding. But till now, my gum didn't bleed at all. So that's why I asked my Mr. Guan to stop them up. And for the complete care, it stated over here is for healthy gums, strong teeth, fresh breath, is 100% vegetarian and free from parabens. And this is cruelty free. All Himalayas products are cruelty free and they are very affordable as well. And for the sparkling white, it stated over here whiter teeth in two weeks. And I actually realized it whenever I do the video editing that my teeth is getting whiter and whiter. Okay. No chemical bleach, which is very important for me because I have sensitive teeth as well. And it's 100% vegetarian and free from parabens and also cruelty free. So thumbs up for the toothpaste. If you dears have this Himalaya, grab it now. Next, it's also not a beauty product but it makes me prettier. It's a pink lace dress from AliExpress. I bought this for my anniversary and it's only like 30 over sing dollar which is very affordable from AliExpress. When I received this, I was very very happy because it appears very pretty. It is much pinker in real person than the photo but I realized for the lace, if you guys can see when I wore it for a while, I realized that this looks like a tablecloth lace. <laughs> the material feels a bit coarse. Not sure if you can see for this part here, the lining is not in shape. One is higher than the other. So I have to constantly keep adjusting that, which is not very appropriate to adjust in the public. This is the third dress I bought from the AliExpress shop. I would say the quality is quite alright, except for this, which reminds me of tablecloth. But the overall design for this dress is very pretty and it's my kind of style. Alright, next will be the eyeshadows palettes. I especially keep it at the last part because I've just shared with you this in my eyeshadow palettes collection videos. Okay, let me share with you the blast track first. Starting with their loose eyeshadow. This, I haven't shared with you this at all. Okay, I will switch off the fan first because the wind is very big. Come in this blast, this ziplock bag and also this round container. I was very clumsy when I received it. Back then, it comes with a paper lid, the tin foil paper lid. I was really, really very clumsy. Somehow, when I opened the lid, the pigments just flew out. All over my black dress, my sofa, my floor. It is really very messy. At least one dollar, one USD dollar is gone. Okay, let me just share with you the colors. This is a very pretty purple, and this is dual chrome. This is in the color Zora, Zora, Z O R A. I just find that the packaging is very very messy. Okay, this is the color. And under certain lightings, certain angles is a bit green, then it's purple. How I wish their packaging is like the ColourPop packaging, something like this, and comes with a lid. This, so that you can pour the amount on the lid and it's not so messy. But for this, 
I have even trouble opening this lid up. So yes, that's why. Lil's powder can be very 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 messy but the colour is so pretty and because of the packaging that hesitates me to get another colour. I'm attracted to a few more colours but no it's very very messy so I hope that all this can come in the pressed powder form. I bought these three blast track products palettes in actually December 2018. But because of my fat finger, I typed my address wrongly and it was sent back to UK. <laughs> UK and Singapore is about half a globe away from each other and it came to and flow two times so it completes the whole globe. I haven't even completed the whole globe. <laughs> okay, this is Hasina too. I've been loving this very much. Their photo seems very beautiful and yes it is very beautiful. I was applying this on one of my um, eyeshadow palettes collection video and when I was editing my own video I was admiring my eye makeup look that day. And next is this the Paulina's Paulina's Beauty collaboration. This isn't soap anymore. It's a nine pan palette with the pinks, the purples and the greens. It's Apparently, it's her favorite color, and she has this Sigi, this matte green here. Uh, Sigi is her dog. Okay, I find that her matte texture is a bit more rough than the Hasina, too, especially. But overall, this is still pigmented. She is very, very diligent. Her current subscriber base is over 7,000 and keep growing, which I'm very happy for her. And I'm also very happy that Blast Tribe is willing to work with a smaller YouTuber which I think for Paulinas, she has the potential to become very big. And next is this Sonia Zerin eyeshadow palette which is also a limited edition and I think they only have very 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 limited quantity. I'm not so sure whether they are completely sold out so if you're still interested you might want to take a look at it. It's more to the muted natural daily look and this Hasina one. Hasina, I bought it around the Valentine's period where they have a 30% sales together with the, those pigments. I really loving the color story. I like colorful eyeshadow palettes but when I apply on a daily use, I actually prefer a natural look. So actually it's very good because I can use this color, this on a daily basis and even the gold. The rest, I can use it when I'm recording videos, so it's quite versatile. And next is this Dominic Cosmetic Berries and Cream, and this is one of the 11 new brands that I like to try in 2019. And today's my eye makeup is created by this palette. I know some of you dears, especially Nomi, asked me to do a dedicated swatch and review for this palette and I'm producing it already. So their yeah, pants are very big. This plastic sheet is also very thick. And I'm applying these berries on my eyes which is the cream berry, the blueberry muffin, the cherry juice, blackberry and also the sugar cookie. Texture is soft. Most of the colors are very easily blendable. But I have some difficulty in the cherry juice. On the transition, it seems like it's quite patchy. But for the rest of the five colors I've used over here, it's all right. Black is the blackberry is not the blackest black. You need to build it up. And I've used it another time before this. Back then, my experience was it is vibrant on the lid. But after a few hours, the vibrancy faded away. So may not be long lasting. So I do not know whether is it because of my eyeshadow base or the quality of this palette. I need to test it more to see whether the colors really stays on the lid. Then come this. This is the Flower Child by this new indie brand Max Up. They make up very colorful, very retro looking palette. I love the design. I think I mentioned this before, usually I do not like a very colourful background packaging because it will distract the colours away from the eyeshadow. Yes, it is very colourful, 
but maybe because the background color has the eyeshadow colors that's why it doesn't really distract my eyes from the eyeshadow colors and yet it complements each other very well that's how i find the mattes are smooth easily blendable and also pigmented the shimmers needless to say usually in a palette the shimmers will perform much better than their mattes so if their mattes is good so will be the shimmers when I use this, initially it has a very strong glue smell but now the glue smell has already faded If you like this kind of colors, you might want to support them because this is their very first product Next are the 3 eyeshadow palettes from AliExpress I just received it last week and I'm waiting for them That's why that's the delay for the video So I've already shared with you this is the Aroma under the brand You Can Be and is the Dupe of the Huda's Beauty New Nude Palette I watched this recommendation from All That Beauty with Lori and she was saying the texture is very good that's why I bought it but I haven't used it on my eyes yet so we'll update you this and also this is Twilight and this is the Rose Gold Dupe it still has the same packaging but it's different on the inside this is the Desert Dusk and for these three palettes, I haven't used it on the eyes yet, so I do not know. But I'm quite surprised, this brand, You Can Be, is a cruelty-free brand. Then next are the Singles Eyeshadows. I've shared with you this already. These are from the Makeup with Rising Phoenix. I bought only maybe 3 to 4 colors during the Valentine's Day. But I cannot remember which are the colors I bought. And this copper blue, back then when I was showing you this, my single colors collection, it dropped out. So I just placed it over here. And the rest of the colors are given from them as a gift for purchase. And yes, their quality is really, really very vibrant. When my Mr. Guan watched my review videos of their Greek and Goddess palettes, which I will link it somewhere here He as a guy can tell me that their colors are very intense and pigmented So if a guy who doesn't do makeup can tell the difference So can we girls And these three are from Love Lux Beauty Okay, I covered this, this three And also I'm very amazed by their formula So super pigmented The purple is a oh, wow so if you just really love a good purple, this is the one. But while I'm very impressed by their powder eyeshadow, this is something that I'm not impressed at all. I was very attracted to the opalescent press pigments because of the Huda Beauty's new nude press shimmers. I thought they should be the same. I'm not so sure whether the texture is the same, but it's just that I find that this is so messy, you see? There's lots of fallout over here. It feels very fluffy, so I kind of lost interest in this already. So again, these three glitters are not from Love Flux Beauty. These two rows, if you can see, are from Love Flux Beauty. Alright, that's all that I bought in February. <laughs> I didn't buy so much in March. Or did I? I bought a lot of skincare in March. And as I was going through my eyeshadow palettes collection, I was thinking it's time for me to slow down my purchase. So I think I will be going on a low buy this few months. Yeah, because somebody is complaining, you know, and I got solid evidence for him to complain. <laughs> Alright, that's all for the sharing today. Last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. The art of living lies less in eliminating our troubles than in growing with them. Thank you dear so much for watching. And if you like me to do any of the eyeshadow palettes, swatch and review, please comment in the comment section below yeah thank you so much and if you happen to like this video consider to like comment subscribe and click the bell notification button for my future video thank you so much may you dears have a peaceful peaceful and joyful week ahead see you next time bye